Uh, but a fascinating uh, article I came across uh, on Hacker Moon by Sophia um, Siocha, I think is how you pronounce her name. Uh, anyway, it's about Spotify. Do you use Spotify, PL? I do. Do you use Discover Weekly? No, I don't. So Discover Weekly is a weekly feature that Spotify has that recommends. It's their recommendation engine. It, it recommends uh, uh, songs for you based on your behavior on Spotify and the songs that you listen to and everything. And it is incredibly accurate. It's amazing how accurate it is. Um, although I haven't used Spotify uh, for a while, and I just got back into it after reading this article and noticed that there's a lot of religious songs on my on my Discover Weekly. So this past week, you it hasn't been that. Dave? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this past week, it hasn't been as accurate, but usually is. Uh, and a lot of people comment on, wow, Spotify just knows exactly the type of music I want. There's a reason for that. And this article uh, by Sophia Siocha uh, dis it delves into that. Um, so D Discover Weekly is a, is a feature that features 30 songs that it recommends for you every week. Uh, the article is fairly technical, but essentially boils down to three, three recommendation models that Spotify's uh, algorithm uses. One is called collaborative filtering. And so think about how Netflix uses their star rating system to recommend other, uh, other mo movies to similar users. Uh, that's an explicit feedback, right? Some people are actually rating, rating movies, and it's an explicit uh, uh, feedback for the rating system. Spotify uses implicit feedback. So they specifically uh, look at the stream counts of tracks we listen to. Uh, they also look at streaming data, like whether you save a track to your favorites list uh, or visit a page artist page after listening to a song. Um, so BL, if you and I like three of the same songs, the collaborative filtering will result in recommending my fourth song to you and your fourth song to me, right? That's so so it, it, cool. it figures that out. But Spotify does it on a massive basis with massive data sets, right, across all of its users. Another model they use is called natural language processing. You've probably heard of this. Uh, this model uses track metadata, so uh, all the metadata associated with an individual song, news articles, blog posts, and other text found around the internet. So Spotify crawls the web and is looking for blog posts and other reviews about music, uh, about songs, about figures, uh, and, and it understands what people are saying about those, uh, those songs or those artists, specifically what adjectives and language is frequently used in the song, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in that copy, and which other artists are associated with it. So it's using semantic uh, uh, evaluation to determine uh, what is related to that song or that artist. Uh, so each, uh, this is quoting from the article, each artist and song has thousands of daily changing top terms. Each term has a weight associated, which reveals how important the description is. The natural language processing model uses these terms and weights to create a vector representation of the song that can be used to determine if two pieces, pieces of music are similar. So it's using this textual analysis on top of the uh, implicit feedback. And the third is the audio model. So this, uh, this improves the accuracy. Um, and what they do is they, they examine raw audio files. So the, the, the MP3s that are uploaded to, uh, to Spotify, um, they analyze the waveforms of those files. Uh, they do this using convolutional neural networks. These are networks that, uh, it's basically the same techno technology behind facial recognition, uh, but in Spotify's case, they've modified it to uh, examine audio data instead of pixels. So uh, the neural network spits out an understanding of the song, which includes characteristics of the song, like time, signature, key, mode, tempo, loudness, and it can compare that to other songs to understand um, how those songs are, are similar and so this helps in discovering new songs that, from new artists that haven't had all the other stuff associated with, right? So understanding Spotify's recommendation system can help musicians obviously optimize their own content for discovery, but also uh, it's a good article to read for understanding how we might prepare for optimizing the next wave of content, which is going to be audio.